Donkey Kong 64 is a game on the Nintendo 64 where you play as Donkey Kong and his gang to collect a total of 2.2 trillion collectibles. King K. Rule is an evil crocodile who promised to see you in a while and has stolen your precious golden banana hoard as well as kidnap your fellow Kong friends. You must journey through seven unique worlds and get back all of your bananas. Now this game was a stellar hit selling over 5 million copies worldwide was claimed at the time for being the most ambitious video game yet, but as time went on, people have really started to not like this game. I was looking to play it again since I got the Project 64 emulator on my computer, and I just want to see if this game still holds up. My nostalgic goggles are off, I'm playing it like it's a normal game today, so let's see if it's good, or if it's a hot, steamy pile of shit. Hello, it's me, Big Boy Pro, and today we are playing Donkey Kong 64 on live stream right now in the current. Moment. Honestly, I'm hype. I, I love this game. Let's get into it. His ear, his ear canal. Yes, Donkey Kong Island. Yes. Whoa, look at that. Little polygon on Donkey Kong Island. Oh my gosh, here he is. King K. Rule. They seem to be steering very poorly. They're going to crash. But the music is not synced up. It took me forever to realize it's not actually going towards the camera, but it's actually growing in size. <laughs> it's literally my friend Dustin right there. Hey, yo, he's doing those mad push-ups. He's literally me right now. See, I'm going to start doing push-ups now, just like my hero, Donkey Kong. The game. Here we go. He slips on the banana peels, too. <laughs> wee! <laughs> wee! Wee! Squawk. Well, if it isn't my lazy, good for nothing, banana brain, stupid, dumb. Can I get, can I burn myself on? Okay, no. He must be the one who stole your bananas and kidnapped the other. I don't care. I, I don't, I, I don't care. Okay, this guy, this big bitch. Can I moon, can I moon kick here? Wait, hang on. <gasps> oh, he's going, he's going, he's going, he's going. There he goes, bye bye. Jungle Japes is the first of these worlds, and one of your first and most important tasks here is to free Diddy Kong. Now this is all the Kongs you can get here, but you'll notice that you can actually start collecting bananas here. There are 100 bananas for each Kong. Donkey Kong must collect yellow bananas, and Diddy must collect red. In terms of golden bananas, you have no golden bananas, so you must get to it. Every Kong has 5 golden bananas in each world that they must collect, bringing the total up to 25 golden bananas for each world. Since you only have access to Donkey and Diddy here, you can only collect 10 for now. Here in Jungle Japes is where you can learn how various mechanics work, such as... Funky Kong sells you a gun for three banana coins. This can be used for general damage and shooting targets. This is actually how you free Diddy. Apart from Funky, Cranky is here and he can give you potions to give your characters special powers like Diddy's Chimpy Charge or Donkey Kong's Barrel Blast. Wait a minute. That's right, my silly friend. The ape hasn't even gotten his first banana yet. I literally have, though. That's not what it looked like when I was trying to get it. Hey, DK, help. That is not what Diddy Kong would say. Hey, long time, Donkey. He gives me a gun. <laughs> That's all you need to know. Funky Kong gives me a gun. Wee! I'm just gonna land very carefully down here. Okay. Where's that beaver bitch? I need him. The zingers. Yo, what's up, my zigga? Okay, I gotta be careful with that. Alright, here we are. We gotta get the banana that Diddy, that Diddy Kong left us. Baboon Blast. Barrelum Perilous. I love I I love those little uh those uh, names at the bottom. Crush. Yes. <laughs> Gaming. All right, so mm. I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, we have all five bananas, but we're missing one last banana punch. Oh wait, I haven't checked this tree yet. Are Donkey Kong's bananas up here? Oh, <gasps> guys, 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 shut up, shut up, shut up. There's this, there's the last bunch. Shut up, shut. Little Mac. All right, here we go. Wait, where's the banana at? Oh, there it is. That's silly me. I always thought that box looks weird. 
It's like a PP sticking out of the box. Hey, the PP touched the target. Boing. Okay, we're supposed to cross this. Oh, easy, easy. <gasps> okay, I hate balloons. I play balloons tower defense. Ooh, we're going in the minecart. We're going in the minecart. Here we go. Whee! That's a bomb. <laughs> the TNT barrel is all like, your boy's about to explode. All right. We have literally done everything we can do in this world so far. We'll need to come back with the other Kongs uh, so that we can get the other bananas. After digging around in jungle japes, you must have noticed these portals. If you go in them, you find a hippo and a pig that can unlock the boss door for you by feeding the hippo bananas. This is actually a big turnoff for players in the 90s upon finding out that they had to give bananas to a hippo. Bosses give you a key to unlock Big Bitch that you met from the start. Giving Big Bitch keys unlocks more areas in the game. Alright, check this crazy glitch out. I believe I can do it. Come on, come on! Did I do it? I'm, I'm, I'm out of bounds. <laughs> I'm out of bounds. Oh no, the pig ate too much. You have to feed the hippo. Now we can reach the key and unlock it. Oh, it's dark. Come on, let's moon kick in there with style. Wee. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm dead. Gonna pick this up and throw it at him. He's gonna squash me. Oh, he actually is. All right, here we go. Dead. He's dead. Goodbye. And he just pooped out a key. Great. Man, Jungle Japes, great first level. Angry Aztec, which is our next level, great second level. I love Angry Aztec. Frantic Factory, amazing level. Gloomy Galleon. Usually going to the Banana Fairy doesn't happen until after you unlock a certain small Kong, but using a small bug, we can turn solid matter into a suggestion and clip right through the wall to access the entrance underneath. The Banana Fairy is crying because naughty K. Rule scared all her children away and now she needs you to capture them using a magical camera. She also gives you a unique powerful move that you can pull off at any time, provided you have the crystals too. Mm, so this is supposed to clip me through? This is supposed to clip me through? Wow, what a great game. Ah, there we go. There we go. Okay, it's a cool camera. It already has some film in it. I'm crying. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, good. I got these coins. Now I don't ever have to worry about them again. Yes! Now let's make our way to Angry Aztec. There we go. Angry Aztec is the second area of this game, and here you can find Lanky Kong jailed for his crimes, and Tiny Kong jailed because she's just straight up a bitch. <laughs> Lanky Kong collects blue bananas, and Tiny Kong collects purple bananas. These two also have abilities and weapons that can be purchased. Lanky Kong can handstand, and Tiny can become a 5'11 man. You'll notice upon entering these worlds one of the best qualities of this game, Atmosphere. Jungle Japes hits you with some upbeat, ready-to-go music. While Angry Aztec brings us some mystical desert chants. This is the best song in the game, aside from the intro. Do you really believe that? This adds immensely to the charm of this game. There's so much personality in these two zones alone. Speaking of charm... Here we meet Booby Kong. This is her canonical name. She gives us extra health and she also gives us musical instruments. Each Kong has their own instrument and it matches them quite fittingly. Donkey has bongos, perfect for this brown gorilla. Mwah. Diddy has an electric guitar, shouting at us his cool person. Lanky gets a trombone, fittingly matching his long arms and reach. Tiny gets a saxophone. It's literally as big as she is. Uh, guys, look, Smash Bros character. It's the Smash Bros guy.
All right, guys, sex appeal 100. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to turn off my freaking, uh, but my my freaking webcam. <laughs> Just give me a second. <sighs> okay, I'll, I'll stop. I took French in high school for two years, and guess what? I failed one of those years. I kept falling asleep in the class. The class was so boring. The teacher was kind of disregard the previous statement. <laughs> We have to free Tiny Kong. What is wrong with her eyes? Oh, okay, they're fixed. Sorry, guys. I'm afraid they got me too. Oh, that sounds... That sounds so sad, so depressing. Ah, oh, shit! <laughs> I just ran into that guy. Nice work, Diddy. Right then. I'll grab all the purple bananas I see. Mmm, grape flavored. It's like a perfect blend. Grape flavored bananas. I won't tell you what it's a perfect blend for. <laughs> Just know that it's a perfect blend. I like her crouching animation. Mini monkey. Kongum smallest. Lanky Kong is in this temple. Do we want Lanky Kong? Alright, newsflash guys. Don't play this game on a Project 64 emulator. We have a switch with Donkey Kong's face on it. That opens, and I can use Strong Kong to go in there and do my business. How the fuck did he get me? I got you. I literally got you. I missed her. Dang it. Motherfucker. Oh my lord. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? I'm having a little bit of trouble. Oh, finally. What the hell? What is that? Go cool, move. Ugh, DK, I gotta get some fresh air. I'll help you by collecting blue bananas. Come and find me in the tag barrel. No way, no way, no way, no way. No way. We've got all of the freaking... Get in there. Okay. We've got all of the 100 yellow bananas. Hurry, hurry, hurry before he, before he does a thing. Okay. This area. They really didn't monkey around with this game. This is where Long Night was made. This is your studio, Nathan. <laughs> Don't you remember? Oh, you missed. Oh, you missed, stupid. Hello, everybody. My name is Markiplier. Today we're going to be having sex. There was no sleeping. Just sex. <laughs> How does this monkey fly? Air Jordan. Alright, this last banana is gonna be high. Here we go. Here we go, baby. Look at this beetle guy. <laughs> go fuck yourself. <laughs> oh, I lost my core. The controls are really tight. I really gotta go. Okay, okay. And come on, come on. Where's the end? Okay, we're back. <sighs> Winning. Winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Fun fact about Angry Aztec. This is another area in the game where you can 100% the world using your available resources. Although you might not have Chunky Kong at this point, you can collect all five golden bananas for each Kong, as well as 100 of their specific regular bananas. The boss of this area is a vicious dragonfly named Dogadon. Just chuck some TNT at him and you are good to go. This boss will give you your second key and allow you to progress. Who are we gonna fight this boss with? Who? <gasps> what? Did he call? Oh no, a little dragonfly. Oh, you just smushed it. Oh, it's still alive. Oh, now it's dead. Man, it'd be unfortunate if there was a big giant dragonfly version of that. Holy fucking shit. We gotta kill him with the TNT. What if I walk into him? Oh, <laughs> okay. All right, well, we can leave this place now. Watch this. <laughs> All right, let's unlock this big guy. Yeah, he's super excited. He gets another key unlocked. Ooh, we get to enter the King K. Rule guy. Oh, in that place. Man, that place. Uh, you about to witness one of the best stages in the entire game. No cap. On God. For real. Here we go. Welcome to Frantic Factory. This arguably could be considered the best world in the game. It has one of the best bosses, some of the best soundtrack in the game, and you even unlock Chunky here. What is there not to like? 
Upon entering, you are greeted with immediate atmosphere. You are in a toy factory, and the song lets you know that. After getting all the Kongs their upgrades at Cranky's and getting Chunky his instrument, it is possible to 100% the world completely, leaving no collectibles left behind. This is the first world where you can actually collect all 25 golden bananas and all 500 colored bananas. Two things that I want you to take note of in your brain, Donkey Kong's blueprint is on a very small platform high up in the production room. And the second thing, when you get Tiny Kong's golden banana in the production room, please look left. There's a platform with a bunch of bananas and three coins for Tiny. These two items are the only collectibles I actually had to look up a video for up until this point. This ought to blow the kids' minds getting here. It's so creepy and yet so fun to look at. There's a room with a giant tower made of building blocks, a research and development section making you feel like you're starting to know how this factory works. Remember guys, toys plus time equals infinite money. And the production room Oh my god, the production room. It's incredible. It doesn't move at first, but after flipping a switch with Donkey Kong, the factory comes to life. Alright, first we gotta watch the, the obligatory cutscene. Ah, this song is so fire. It's the reason why the Poison Gauntlet's first level in Geometry Dash has a remix of that song. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. I don't know if it's loud. I think we're gonna end stream. <laughs> I thought he would do the butt slam. So good. Oh, fuck. Okay, there we go. We free the chunky monkey. Yeah, we got our first banana as chunky. All right, I just made a safe state. I. <laughs> That's right. We win the Nintendo coin. Me booping Oakland's nose. Poke. That's actually a fun minigame. I like that. My gambling addiction. No, I have to try again. The factory has now been turned on. Come on, give me your best shot. Give me your best shot. I can barely hear anything right now. Yep, I'm giving up. I'm gonna look it up. Where this stupid dumb yellow guy is. On a small platform near the top of the pro Production room. Don't tell me I was looking in the right place, but I hear him. But I don't see him. What the hell? Are you serious? I would have found him eventually. Oh my, that hurts my head. Knowing that I would have found him eventually. Alright, cool. <clears throat> oh, bye. Is it just two or is there a third one that I'm not looking at? Oh no, it's just... Alright, time for the most unbearable garbage bullshit minigame you have ever seen in your entire life. Go in! Go in! Go in! Go in! Go in! Buddy, come on, go in, go in! Go in! Go in! Please go in. We have 12 seconds to get four of them in. It's not happening. Maybe? Clutch? 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 Okay. <sighs> it was bad, but it wasn't as bad as everyone thinks Beaver Father is. Awesome. We have everything done for Diddy now. I have fought in a girl uh, in, with my bare hands before <laughs> uh, before in the, in the Smash Bros. Uh, tournament. All right. Uh, balloon. Show your face. Ooh -hoo. I know where it is. It's in here. 100 freaking bananas. Let's go. I won! I won! Oh lord. They're combining. You. I'm gonna beat the crap out of you. 
Oh my gosh, he's got hands. I have to, I have to, I have to neutral him. I have to stay in neutral. Oh, he's got hands. Yikes, buddy. I'm literally lost finding them. Maybe other people have had this problem. So I'm gonna look on Google once. The last five? No, 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 no. I never would have found them. I feel so ashamed. Look at this. Look at this. And then I did the bonus, but I never panned the camera over. Yep, here they are. After going through this area in its entirety, you are met with an amazing boss. You start off in this weird room with glowing platforms, and stepping on the only one that turns on, you are brought way high up. A strange box comes out of a reject hole and bounces towards you. Out comes Mad Jack with an incredible song. He taunts you, and he knows he's scary. All you can do against him is run, until switches appear on the platforms. Make sure you hit the switch that's the same color as the platform Mad Jack's on. Do this enough times, and the key is yours. After Mad Jack's boss fight, I did some backtracking, fully completing Angry Aztec with Chunky, and fully completing Jungle Japes, finding all of Lanky's, Tiny's, and Chunky's bananas. <sighs> This boss has also a lot of RNG. Oh boy. Oh boy. So if you're that close? Make it, make it, make it. There we go. Yeah, it's gonna take you a long time to get over here, my boy. Really, it's it's not taking you a while. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey. Yep, you got me. Damn it. I'm a little pissed. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, what a good fucking boss, I gotta say. All right, must be angry Aztec now. I'm gonna check real quick to see if there's any like extra bananas in this temple for Chunky. Yeah, nothing of the such here. Nothing of the sort. Now wait a minute, something ain't right. No, I did not miss those. Pissed off with that dude. Where's this last balloon at? Are you- are you f They were all in here. I literally went over here and checked. Um, I literally- Mad Maze Mall. Hit? <laughs> These Kremlings are on our hit list? Look at all the zingers. The zingers are gonna feel real stupid after this. <laughs> you idiots! Oh, you're all so dumb. Oh, she's so tiny. I guess that's why they call her. Pushes up sunglasses. Tiny Kong. Oh my, he's a, that's a big B. We're done with the first three worlds, 100%. 100, 100, 100, 100, 100. There we are. Yo, no way. The wrongest feeling part about this is that I can actually enter here. <laughs> nope, I don't want to break it. I'm too scared. <sighs> nope, I, I feel, I feel wrong just being in here. All right, here we go. Let's open up this quest bar, dude. Gloomy Galleon is our next world, and look, don't get me wrong here, this world is fine. Its gloomy atmosphere works well here. There's plenty of fun scenery to look at, and there's some great bananas to collect here. It's just full of water. Being above land is generally faster than being in water, and since this world is almost entirely underwater, you're gonna progress through this world slower than the others. People really don't like Gloomy Galleon as much as the rest of the world in this game, and to be honest, I get that. But in its defense, there's quite a lot of cool things in this world. Mermaid Palace shines brightly with its beautiful mermaid and peaceful music. There's this fun banana with Diddy where you have to enter this giant robot fish and destroy its insides. This lighthouse segment is pretty cool and reminds me a lot of a certain other level in a Nintendo 64 game. K. Rule's boat comes out and sails around the lighthouse. There are some pretty cool on guard activities to do and the golden bananas and regular bananas aren't too awkwardly placed. Everything is kind of understandable. Gloomy Galleon is considered a low point and arguably shines on the game's flaws, being that you see collectibles for a certain Kong while exploring, and then you have to trudge back to the tag barrel and collect whatever you saw. The banana port pads don't help much either since some of them can be really poorly placed. But I really don't see this problem in this game, and maybe it's because of the way I play. Allow me to enlighten you of how I go about these worlds. Maybe you can use this advice and finally complete the game yourself. Basically, I enter each world as Donkey Kong. I do as much as possible before having to use another Kong to unlock more areas. Fungi Forest and Crystal Caves are great examples of this, 
as you have to shoot targets in Fungi Forest to open big gates, and you have to fly through the DK Star with Diddy and Crystal Caves to unlock areas for each Kong inside the Igloo. Once I get these out of the way, I continue as DK. Usually my playtime with Donkey is the longest out of the gang, because I use Donkey Kong as my Explorer Kong. I download the world's layout in my brain as I'm exploring with DK, and once I collect everything with DK, I move on to the next Kong in line. And now that I know more about the layout of the world, traversing and finding the collectibles is generally easier with each Kong I move on to. With one exception. Hopefully this type of playstyle can be utilized by you guys to help you with this big game. It certainly helped me. With all that being said, Lumi Galleon still feels slow, despite it taking shorter than it did to complete other worlds. I underestimated those Kongs. Their progress is unexpected. Guards, make sure no one leaves my machine until... Until... until no one... I, I'm, shit! Hi, Squidward. No, that's literally me and you's relationship. You're always the high school word, and I'm always the guy that like gets brutally like mauled by a bear. <laughs> hey, look, our first banana of gloomy galleon. All right, we got. Oh, we got the coin. We got the rare coin. What's Cranky gonna say about that bitch? Whoa, whoa, you got my rare coin? That's impossible. You must have cheated. Oh, we gotta play this mini game. That's right. Oh, you know this part gives me some serious Mario 64 vibe. Right, we're not gonna be Quincy, right? Ooh. Ooh. Uh, Quincy is a character in Bloom's Tower Defense 6 famous for miss- What? What is the chicanery? They're- they're- they're not in sync! Let me show you a cool little speed rain trick that skips time. <laughs> it goes a little something like this. Give me a second. You have to like let it bounce back to you. Yes! I did it! So you don't have to sit through like the- where he's all like- You know, I'm only there was a- Certain swordfish you could play in the game that you, makes you travel faster uh, underwater. That's only accessible to one Kong because I don't know, but that would be really cool. What's this? A makes the leap like a seal. I love this character. I love this character so much. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's starting. It's starting. Okay, sure. Holy crap, that's a- that's a dead dude! Hey, wait a minute. Isn't this supposed to be impossible? What? People say it's supposed to be impossible. Alright, I have one more suspicion on where this, uh, balloon might be. I'm so smart! I'm literally so smart! This is important. We have to knock this fish out because once we get the sniper upgrade for this fish, this game becomes literally impossible because the sniper overlay literally adds, like, what? Uh, three milliseconds of lag every second, and it adds up to the point where you literally cannot beat the game. All right, what do we go for first? Here we go. Yes, we did it. Down here, hundred percent. This is where Diddy's bananas are. No way. Are they? Is it actually all ten? <laughs> I was just joking. Isn't there like oh? I was gonna hit, get hit by the ship. You don't lose any, like, melons, but, like, it's scary. Oh, that's the bottom one. I know where that is. You only have 30 seconds? <sighs> 100 golden bananas. Oh. <laughs> she's so... She's, uh... She's kinda... She's, uh... Ugh. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, it's moving at the speed of light. That's it. I'm going serious mode against these bugs. What? What? No, get him. Get him. This is literally the monkey submarine from Bloon Star Defense 6. I ain't never going to get hit by the... <laughs> oh, now we're all uh, tipsy. Make it. Come on. Just keep going, Chunky. Chunky, keep going. <laughs> well, guess what, my gamers? We are done with Gloomy Galleon. After swimming through this world, finding all of its collectibles, you confront the boss. Lanky Kong is on a very dark lake on his boat, and as soon as he turns on his light, a ginormous pufferfish appears. To defeat this big guy, simply drive through some DK stars to make some metal rods rise from the water and electrocute the fish. This is a new way of playing the game since you're on a boat, but if you have raced the pirate seal with Donkey, you shouldn't have a problem. Beating this boss fight gives you a key and unlocks the next area of the game. Ah, oh, what a healthy boy. All those bananas. He now has radiation poisoning. <gasps> There's something. Oh, oh, how scary. <sighs> the screen's kind of dark. I have to look like, like, where? 
Where is it at? There you are. Oh my gosh, you are tiny. Clutch, clutch. Where, 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 where? Yes! Bye bye! Oh, he's all deflated. That was actually kind of fun. That, no, not kind of. That was pretty fun. I'm not going to lie. I like that boss fight. All right, now we need to give this guy the keys. <gasps> the key. Key four? What? That's Linky Kongs. Yeah, 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 there we go. Key three. Okay. Review. Time. Ah, Fungi Forest. A breath of fresh air, beautiful music, an amazing setting, plenty to do here. And fun fact, this is the only world in the game that you cannot 100% as soon as you enter because one of the golden bananas is locked behind an upgrade you get at the next world. God damn it. Apart from that, this is an incredible world, featuring a day and night system. Each time zone has their own areas that can only be accessed at that time. Some zones are locked at day, and others at night. This gives each sub-area of this world more purpose. Visiting Cranky's, you can access a Super Slam, which turns your ground pound into more powerful versions. Each Kong has their own animations when they ground pound, and now you've got new animations and a blue shockwave instead of a green one. I've always thought of this as really cool as a kid, and I still think this is cool today. The tried and true strategy is used here, where I use DK to scout the area, then move on to other Kongs when I'm done with DK. There's tons of exploration to do here, and to be honest, this area for me personally doesn't get boring. I had a blast the whole way through. The giant mushroom tower, Chunky Kong's minecart minigame, and the bunny race. It's all just so charming. Again, I must say, Donkey Kong 64 masters its sound effects, yeah. its music, and its atmosphere. I don't know what the fuck is. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to Donkey Kong saying yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. We're gonna loop the video, and then we're just gonna we're just gonna yeah. duplicate. Okay, we're gonna loop it. We're gonna loop it. All right, all right. Can we get one more? Let's get one more. Can we get uh, one more? Can we get one more? Uh, let's go ahead and get one more. Why are they all saying? <laughs> oh great! I think this is enough, guys. I really think this is enough. I think we got enough here. Should be too loud. Okay. Time to see what those furry freaks are up to. Let's see if we can actually 100% Fungi Forest, Super Simium Slam, Big Buttus Bashium. Uh oh, it's gonna disappear. Perfect snipe, dude, I'm so good at the game. <laughs> no way, no way. <laughs> dude, that's hard. What? You know what? Why would I make a safe state? What? The game lagged? What the heck? That's crazy. Oh, that's so dumb. I didn't even see the... Sure. Alright, uh, we're gonna see where this goes. Ugh. Are you serious, bruh? Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's kind of like a slap in the face, a slap on the nuts. Please help me, those awful tomatoes have eaten all my friends and I'm the only one left. Sorry, Mr. Uh... Nerd emoji worm. Can they even hurt me while I'm big like this? <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just got hit with like feelings. Like like when I walked through the gate and saw this like entire place. This place is awesome. <laughs> like wow, look at this place. It's so awesome. It's so big. There you are. How did no? Don't, don't. So the last five bananas should be in here, right? Excellent. Go, 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 go. Wait, 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 no. All right, now we got to go inside the Sen's Fortress. <laughs> now, if you think about it, it really is Sen's Fortress because, well, shit. <laughs> I'm going to land in the water. Let's play. Whoa. Whoa. I'm fucking dead. Oh my god. It's just occurred to me I have no idea where Candy's shop is. There you are, Cranky. I'm gonna need your services. 
Hang on, hang on a second. What did I miss? I'm trying to orangs and sprint. You know what? We're going to do a little bit of cheating. I'm going to do a little trick. I'm just going to clip right there. Uh, six level early. Uh, there you are. Orang stand sprint. Palmus dashium. All right, here we go. This is the one. I'm going to beat you. Oh, yeah, this is the one. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm going to catch up to him. Oh, oh, oh. What's this? I'm ahead of you. Oh, you're so stupid. Oh, you're so dumb. I'm literally going to destroy you, dude. Oh, my gosh. You're so bad at this game. Oh, my fucking God. You're so bad. That was actually pretty hype. Not going to lie. I really like that. This is the hard one. It's literally not possible, like, for a human to react in time. Oh, never mind. I reacted in time. Whee! Whoa. I got a seed. All right, so Chunky needs to get in here. Press A. <laughs> okay, you know what? Ow. Ow. All right, we killed him. Dang it. Oh, my gosh. Christ. What? What? It just comes out of nowhere. Come on. Two more. Literally just two. Can I try again? Well, guys, I seem to have found the last of five bananas. I don't know how the hell I missed those. All right, get this. The boss fight here is fucking awesome. It's a rematch of the second world's boss, but this time he's more aggressive. And he has a second face after three hits. That's right, Dark Souls fans. Donkey Kong 64 did it first. You're Chunky Kong for a reason. And that reason is to stun this giant dragonfly with a TNT barrel and then morph into a hunky chunky to engage in a kaiju battle and just beat the shit out of the oversized bug. This boss fight was my favorite as a kid. And I don't know if I can say that now, but just note. I really, really love this boss fight. Giving this boss's key to Big Bitch actually unlocks two areas. Crystal Caves, an area which we have never been to before up until this point, definitely, totally, 100%. And Creepy Castle, the true final world of the game. All right, these ones are obviously uh, watermelon. Is they're green. You ever had a watermelon Kool-Aid? I think the packaging is green. Oh my, he's coming back for his revenge. All right, here we go. Isn't he like supposed to... He's freaking, he's gonna, I, I remember how to survive this. So you just gotta, there we go. All right, this is where it gets awesome. All right, you gotta throw the barrel at him and you gotta beat the shit out of him. Oh, it's over. Oh my. <laughs> Yikes, dude. Yikes. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go into Crystal Caves for the first time ever. Definitely. 100%. Crystal Caves is our sixth world. It's a world I personally enjoy. The music is so calm, and the pretty crystals found all over complement the music so well. But wait. What's this? Every now and then, a giant viking enemy causes a ruckus in the cave and makes sharp rocks fall from the ceiling. This disrupts the peace and makes you run. The music during this event also changes to be much more aggressive. If you're a kid and you're really scared about this part and you don't want to get hurt, you can just go to the tag barrel and wait until the shaking of the falling rock stops. Jam out to some tunes. This tag barrel is your safe space. Each Kong has their own areas surrounding this big cabin and this big igloo, each with fun activities to do. Except for this dumb fucking beetle race where Lanky Kong has to make impossible jumps. This world is such a sharp twist of what you've been through. It's dark, compact, and claustrophobic, but it's also beautiful and peaceful. Comparing it to the other worlds, it's definitely one of, if not the smallest world of the bunch. What? There's no cutscene? Oh god, that music. I need to break that. I need to smash that. Smash or pass. Chunky says smash. Let's let's get it. <laughs> I just remembered. I seen... One of those guys... I forgot about this. Uh, come on. Come on, donkey. Don't be shy. Donkey, my boy. Holy shit, he's actually not going up. Okay. This game looks great on this uh, emulator. I'm not gonna lie. Let's watch it snipe. I'm so good at the game. 
Oh, shoot. I didn't... Come on, dude. Oh, got it. Oh, this is a dumb jump right here. I'm gonna make a save state just in case I don't make this. All right. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. Oh, well, there goes one of our melons. Oh, there goes two. There goes three. All right. Do not fuck me over, camera. Thank you. Okay. Come over here. Kiss me on my hot mouth. I didn't even need the freaking, oh my. There's coins, and I kind of want them, and I'm going to get them. It costed me two of my melons. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna fuck this guy up. Uh-oh. I feel like my strategy has been a little bit off. Did I win? No, I didn't. I'm still bad at this game. I smoked you. I literally smoked you so bad, dude. What the fuck is wrong with you? You would suck ass at this game. Here we go. This is it. This is the jump. Yep. What's the, what's the cutoff? Oh, hey, I made it. I'm faster than you. I'm fast as fuck. Oh, another jump? Are you kidding me? Oh, no way. You're so bad, dude. You suck cock at this game, dude. Suck my dick, beetle. <laughs> well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. You guys get it? That's right. Die. No more your shenanigans. Dude, you were about to fucking blow up. <laughs> I'm in shock. I can't believe it. Chunky Kong got seen for one second and <laughs> fucking died. The boss fight here is just like Fungi Forest, as it's a rematch with the Army Dillo boss fight from Jungle Japes. After chucking TNT at him three times like you did back then, he loses his main cannons. But he's got extra tricks up his sleeves. Or shell. He's got these hover rockets and a big ass blaster which shoots a homing missile. If you can avoid all of these new attacks, you can chuck a final TNT barrel at him and get your key. Giving Big Bitch this key will give you a small preview of where you will be heading next after Creepy Castle. You don't actually unlock a new area. All right, let's do this. They're rebuilding him to be even bigger and better. Yep, he's got some new he's got some new tricks up his sleeve. The song's kind of hype though. <laughs> yeah, the conductor be all like, I'm about to get rolled over. That's like the shit in my toilet hitting the water. Uh, what is that? Oh, it's just a small little gun. Uh, go? <gasps> Yo, he's naked. Oh, you idiot. Oh, you're so dumb. Oh. All right, here we go. Last area of the game. I I'm a I got a little bit of chills, honestly. We have more than double the amount needed. That's crazy. Creepy Castle is the last world in the game. And to be honest, this is the best world of the game. It's got plenty of liminal spaces, some great tunes, and for once, it's actually a well-designed level. Okay, look. Designing4 made a video on Creepy Castle telling you all about how good it is, and I gotta say, I agree with him. To sum that bit all up, look at these port pads. Each one leads to a different part of the castle and not somewhere useless. The second big thing I want to bring attention to, it's very linear. There is a clear path up the castle where you can find most of the Kong's areas. The only straying off the path that you do here is going inside the castle, but then you go right back out and continue to the next area. It's pretty great. This level really didn't complement my playstyle very well, as a new player would have actually progressed through this world faster than I did because I went up this tower five times for each Kong. So yeah, if you want to get into Donkey Kong 64, definitely give this world a shot. It's only 80% into the game, no problem. <sighs> Creepy castle. What? Is it, you're kidding, you're kidding. It's all the potions you're getting, Donkey. Now scram and leave me in peace. Wow. Uh-oh. Hey, 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 whoa, what's going on? <gasps> I'm gonna get murked. I'm just gonna fall, I'm just gonna do this. We about to enter a minecart level, aren't we? 25 coins. Come on, let's go. Go. Who do you think you are, bud? What the? How do I avoid that? What a freaking crazy minecart ride. Okay, we got enough coins. Let's go. Wait, we can duck? Wait. Wait, what's going on? Are we... Are we going back? Oh! Wow. Quick, grab this banana. I want to get out of this spooky hole. Oh, I like that a lot. Repairs are all I can do for you now. I've given you everything else I have. Really? Not everything. I'm assuming this place in here gives me my last five bananas that I need. Hey, yo! 
Uh oh. <laughs> so I forgot anything up here. Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna. And then, okay, that thing kicks into there. And that thing punches. Okay, cool. How does that work? Are you kidding me? I've just seen God and he's not happy. Go, 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 go. Okay, no, this one, this one then. It can still be salvaged. The run can still be salvaged. Go, go. Come on, go in, go in. Go, 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 go. Unless, 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 unless. One, one more, one more. Please, please, please. Go in, go in, go in. Go in, go. The worst bonus ever. I didn't like that. Hey, can you stay still? Thank you. Well, guys, here we are at this weird pillar in the middle of the room. Oh, oh, what's that? You can't turn as good as me? Oh, you're so stupid. Oh, you're so dirty. What's he gonna say now? You freaking monkey. God damn it. All right, chat. I'm gonna look you dead in your eyes. If this is another fucking beaver bother game, we're gonna have a problem. Welcome to bonus Why does the guy moan in this song? That's my only problem. Somebody's getting head, bro. Like two employees were having an eternal affair and then Grant Kirkhope, I think, is like, hey, yo, that's kind of fire. <laughs> I can't say much about this world's boss fight, as it is a very dangerous topic in the DK64 community. It's a giant cutout of King K. Rule. Two Kremlin grunts are given the last resources that K. Rule has to defend against you before you catch up to his plans. This cutout fires lasers at you, and the only way to damage it is to launch your Kongs at it. If you miss, you lose that Kong permanently. For the rest of the game, you never get that motherfucker back. That dude is dead. My lawyers have advised me to not give my opinion about this boss, so I'll let y'all decide, because I mean, I don't know. Now he's having strawberry. All right, and now he's going to have banana flavored bananas. See, DK, just unlock the key yourself. Does it play well? The third phase, yes, it plays like a hard boss fight should. But for the first two phases, it's all right. If you like miss your shot, you lose that Kong. That Kong is dead. No more lanky Kong. All right, you have to wait. You have to wait. Here we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, great. Uh... Awesome. I like that. I like that. The last world's key. What does it unlock? Giving this key to K. Lumsey opens the mouth of K. Rule's ship. Upon entering it, you are greeted with a lava-filled lobby. On the other side is the final bee locker. Upon swinging to him and opening the door, you are greeted to your final area. King K. Rule commands that the blastomatic should be fired, even if it's not ready. He's willing to take that risk. Remember all those blueprints you collected throughout the game, and how you would get a golden banana? There was an alternative purpose to that. Snide tells you that because of your hard work collecting these blueprints, he's able to stall the Blastomatic one minute for every blueprint. He tells you to hurry, as if you don't, there won't be an island to go back to. This is Hideout Helm, and upon entering, you'll notice a timer at the bottom of the screen. This timer is on a constant countdown until utter destruction. Each Kong's ability is used here to get further into the helm. Lanky has to walk up steep slopes, Tiny has to shrink through pipes, Donkey has to pull a lever, Diddy has to fly through the main station, and Chunky has to punch down gates, all the while the timer is counting down. Remember how I said that the tag barrel is your safe place and you can jam out to some tunes? Well, not here. When you hop into a tag barrel, not only does the timer not stop, but the music doesn't change. This area lets you know that if you don't get what needs to be finished, then everything you've worked towards will be for nothing. In the main room, each Kong has their own area where only that specific Kong can enter using their instruments to open a door. Each Kong has two different task barrels they must complete in order to shut down one power link to the machine. This is the essence of Hideout Helm, a phenomenal but terrifying finish to Donkey Kong 64. Everything this game stands for culminates into this one last zone. Every Kong is used. Your abilities are tested to the max. The pressure, the timer, no stalling in the tag barrel. This is Donkey Kong 64 at its finest.
once you complete tasks, you can collect the banana medal and move on to the next Kong. And then the next one. And the next one. Until you finally get to Diddy. Where he has to fly high to his own zone. And upon completing the tasks here... It's over! That's it. You shut off the machine. And a door leading to King K. Rool's chamber opens. Once you get close enough, a cutscene plays showing King K. Rool fleeing to a ship up in his crown of the fortress. You've done it. You've chased him out, but you haven't defeated him. He'll show up again at some point. You can walk up to his chair and lounge about, but then you'll notice a final key. This one is locked behind two coins on a door. One coin you get by playing Cranky's jetpack game, and the other you get by beating the DK arcade machine in Frantic Factory twice. You finally have the last key. Now, you can free Big Bitch. This is where the game gets silly again. K. Rool flees on his ship, but uh-oh, here comes K. Lumsey to appreciate Kong Island. K. Rool thinks he's being chased, but K. Lumsey is just happy to be there. They go round and round the island until- Oh shit! A boulder. K. Lumsey trips on it and swats the K. Rool ship like a mosquito and it goes down, opening the real final boss of the game. At first, he was a king, then a captain, then a scientist. What could he be now? A boxer. This final boss fight is a five round bout with each member of the Kong family pitted up against King Crusher K. Rule, you know what I'm saying? Let's go. Now, to beat this guy, get this DK uses launch barrels. Diddy knocks the lights onto his head. Tiny tickles the tenacious crocodile's foot. Lanky Kong uses a large banana peel to make K. Rule slip. And Chunky? He just straight up kills King K. Rule. Whoa, where's this place? A boxing ring? That guy's literally me. Just gotta say. Right, let's go, let's go. Now if he goes in the middle, he like does many uh... Five, six, seven. I got you. I got you, you're a n And now, making his way into the ring. It's the champ of chimps. He's beaten every single Bloons Tower Defense 6 map on chimps. Even the expert ones, even bloody puddles. He's the champ of chimps. Dude, what, that's freaking me out. He's got a hand. I really gotta hand it to him. He, he still has the thing on his head. <laughs> what a silly goose. It's over, bro. The fight is over. Bye-bye. Go in there. Go in there. Tiny. All right, here we go. Whee! My brother and so oh, He's coming right for me. God, his toe is so weird, dude. He's done. His foot, gone. He needs to cut it off. He needs surgery right now. Oh, he's pissed, bro. He doesn't even run straight for me. He just goes, he just, he... All right, come here, man. Come here, come here. Bam. That's such a powerful punch that Chunky delivers, dude. Bow. Don't you think his crown, like, so with how hard he's getting hit, his crown, like, goes into his skull, and, like, he, he dies. All right, come on, guys. Come on, come on. That's one. Come on. Controller? Put down. So that's it. That was the Donkey Kong 64 experience. I want to make a couple of closing remarks before the video ends. First of all, I want to thank you for making it to the end of this video. But also, <laughs> what are you doing with your life? This game is a buggy mess. There's a task by Balam that just completely breaks the game. My mind was blown. I understand as well that this game is big. Too big. There's just so much shit to do in this game and there's so much you need to find to complete it. And I get it when players lose interest because of how big and, quite frankly, how confusing the levels are. But, the game always drags me back in when it gets slow, either by a new minigame, the soundtrack, the design and looks of the level. I never got bored of this game. Some of these collectibles are in fucking impossible spots, and I had to look up some of them, but when I found most on my own, it felt pretty damn good. So overall, I feel like this game is a guilty pleasure, but I'm also willing to defend it as there's some really good stuff to be found in here. Of course, you are allowed to have your own opinion, and I can understand any criticism about the game and where it comes from. So to finish it all off, yeah, this game sucks ass.